Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to take you through the inverted version of Food Run. Starting right off, you want to make sure you get both of these boxes on top of the TNT, and once the TNT blows, you will have a total of three crates. This level has, and all the levels in the snack zone, have an underwater theme, but when that underwater theme interacts with masks, things get a little weird. So, we're going to come up on the time mask in a little bit after we jump over these platforms and spin the boxes out of the robot hands. But once you get the time mask, you're going to notice that the rules of this uh, inversion, if you will, are somewhat unexpected and they feel inconsistent to me. But, uh, in any event, things are much slower, so this will take you a little bit longer to complete the level. Um, which can be frustrating, because uh, some of these levels are very long, including Rush Hour, which is the next stage. But coming up on this first checkpoint here, uh, we should have about 16 boxes, I think. And then you want to jump over here, and then you'll notice with the time mask, when you slow time, Crash and Coco speed up, or they go back to normal speed while everything else is slowed down. Which, to me, does not make a lot of sense. Um, this might be a bug, it might get patched, but it makes the bonus especially bizarre. Uh, so hitting this checkpoint, we should have 22 boxes, and we're going to grab the gravity mask. Uh, the gravity mask um, plays pretty nicely with the underwater theme, um, but your uh, sort of momentum carries harder underwater, at least I feel. Um, so, as you notice, it sort of floated for a while there when flipping back down. Um, so you want to be mindful of that while negotiating these ropes and later on the uh, the wall walking and buses and food trucks that you have to navigate. All right, so flip here for the rope. It's a very flashy move. I like doing it. Don't forget this one up. Then we're going to head down to the next checkpoint. And then we have to do some more gravity switching. All right, so we're going to jump here, jump over. Always listen for the sound of squeaking sneakers. That is your cue to jump. You want to make sure this robot has a decent distance because you don't want to accidentally bounce on it and mess up your placement. So if you notice that it's getting very close and you're not going to have like a proper amount of time to get it without possibly messing up, just stand on a bus and let it take you back a few, like a few frames and then jump again and, and do that whole process. Okay, so at this point we should have 47 boxes after we clear this stack and we're going to tap this TNT. Disable Akano and then re-enable him after we tap. Break these boxes. We're going to jump, enable Akano, quickly double jump to gain momentum. Hit these two platforms. The TNT robots will go off. Grab Aku, enable, then disable, tap the TNT. And then we're just going to jump, double jump to aggro these robots and then drop immediately. They're going to blow up. And then we're going to do a sliding double jump to aggro this robot and land safely back on the platform. And then if you need to get some more distance, just a Kano spin away. And we're going to tap on this TNT block here, and then we're going to jump, activate a Kano, then double jump, and then just spin these two crates as we go to the next checkpoint. Okay, we're going to grab the gravity mask again. Don't forget to tap this TNT right here. And then you can just jump onto this food truck, start riding the walls, and then flip upside down. And you want to hug the left, and then, yeah, as you can see, the gravity just gets really weird underwater. So, uh, if you need to, don't be afraid to flip the gravity back and try to tap a box to safety. That's one way of doing it. Okay. So we got the hang of it here. I'm gonna jump onto this bus here and then drop down. Okay. Tap this box. It is a one up in case you need. Okay. The, this section is honestly really hard. I don't have many tips other than just, like, walk on the bleeding edge of the bus before you jump. That's kind of the only thing I could really help you out with. So, jumping into the bonus, we should have 120 crates. And now we have to use the time mask uh, in a really weird way. And you may lose your mask. You may die a bunch of times in this bonus. It's okay. It happened to me a bunch. Uh, but I'll help you through it. Okay, so we want to do a double jump. Tap this box. Hit the TNT fuse, jump, enable the time mask, and then just before we hit the nitro, uh, activate the time mask, bounce off. And as you can see there, I lost my Aku mask because the timing just gets weird. Um, okay, 
So just sliding double jump over that TNT and then hit this box four times. And then jump over, hit this one five, and then we can start making our way back towards the beginning. Yeah, I really don't think the intended behavior is for the time mask to return you to like normal physics. That just doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so this is where it gets really weird. Because you're underwater, your jump arc is longer but shorter. So you need to do some quick double jumps there to make it across safely. Clear all these boxes and hit the switch and then clear these three on your way back. Jump down. And now it's time to activate the final TNT. So go ahead and do that. And then once you're ready, jump over. Okay, hit this box one last time, and then wait for the switch to blow up, and you'll get the 38th crate, as well as enough bump of fruit to give you your third bump of fruit gem. Okay, now we're gonna pick up Lonnie Loli, the phase shifting mask, and we're gonna get the hidden gem, which is in a really mean place, but it's kinda cool once you figure out how to get it. All right, so keep phasing this. You can use the walls to uh, disable the robots and make them blow up on themselves. Okay, so keep phasing. And where the nitro crate is, the hidden gem is right underneath that platform. So we have to phase it out and then jump uh, right as soon as we get the gem. Otherwise, you will fall to your death. So it takes a little bit of practice, but it is doable. But as soon as you drop and as soon as you hear that gem sound, jump and then phase to safety. Okay, so in this final section here, we need to do some wall riding and then there's a pattern to everything. So we want to jump onto the second van, jump in phase, ride both walls, jump off and then double jump, and then jump in phase, and then just keep doing that over and over. There is a box floating on a robot over here, so be sure to spin that away. Okay, we're gonna jump in phase, jump walls, and then we're gonna jump and then double jump, and then we can do a sliding double jump to the end, hit the nitro switch, and you should have your final gem. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.